Ever have one of those overwhelming emotional feelings like, this is too good, or I don't deserve this? I had one last Sunday. I and about 12,000 of my best friends were running the Go St. Louis Half Marathon. With the finish banners in sight, I found myself unexpectedly emotional. My vision found my wife, my daughter, and son-in-law, and our grandkids in the crowd near the finish line. And I became aware that my brain was giving me this dialogue like, what the hell was a 68-year-old fat dude non-runner like me doing here? I'm not supposed to be capable of this. Well, I guess the emotion was a lot like joy, blessed, lucky, not supposed to happen, but incredibly happy and grateful that it did. Probably an anomaly. Don't deserve this, but I'm happy about it. And as I've considered it since, it struck me that this feeling isn't structurally any different than frustration and anger at not doing something I'm supposed to do, just on the opposite end of the scale. They're both examples of our reaction to unmet expectations. If you've been around this blog very long, you've heard me say frequently that the foundation of all frustration is our expectations. If I manage my expectations, I can temper my frustration. A mentor of mine would tell me, Kim, just give up the expectations. The emotion on the other end of the scale, that developed by overtaking low expectations, such as finishing a half marathon, can yield a high, woohoo, I'm so damn lucky I can't believe it, type emotion. So while I was conscious of it by this evidence, I began to think that deep in my psyche, my brain housed this idea that I couldn't run a half marathon. An expectation, albeit a negative one. When I accomplished the expectation that I was not supposed to be able to accomplish, because my brain told me that, actually not meet the negative expectation, voila, my unexpected emotion. The knower judger picture of the world I house, which I'm continually comparing against and judging from, apparently works both ways. I'm totally familiar with the frustration when things don't go my way. Sometimes I can't even compare it against a conscious concept. It's just some embedded standard I carry around with me. The idea of fair comes to mind. I know I've just felt it's not fair in the past. Well, that's making a comparison against my internal messages of fair, whether I can visualize them or not. Well, I apparently have a subconscious set of limiting expectations as well. I can't run a half marathon could certainly be one of them. You might even have that one. It's occurred to me that Perhaps our expectations, those contrived by our knower-judger to manage our lives, we construct to keep our emotions in check, somewhere between uncontrollable rage on one end and ecstasy on the other, and sometimes our experiences push those envelopes. I can be shocked at some of my negative reactions to things and hopefully catch myself before I appear a total fool, or I can be surprised and a little overwhelmed by sheer joy at accomplishing something I'm not supposed to be able to do, or experience something I'm not supposed to be entitled to. Next time you're caught off guard by a strong emotion, either negative or positive, you might want to see it as evidence of a knower judge your picture that your brain has that you might not even be aware of. My experience this past weekend just made me think unmet expectations actually work both ways. I'm Kim, and this is another moment of clarity. Mm -hmm.